One of the tools that's included within the Swing Toolkit is our Price Alert Horizontal Line. And that's this icon here, the little exclamation point. Uh, if I simply click that or go up to the drawing tools, the built-in drawing tools, and go all the way down to the uh, Price Alert uh, Horizontal Line. Uh, fortunately, that's kind of off, our, off my, um, uh, my, my video here, but uh, the as you can see, it simply draws a horizontal line that is, uh, you can place this wherever you'd like, and whenever a price comes down and touches it, it will output an alert, both to uh, an audible alert as well as um, adding to the alert log within NinjaTrader. Um, now I'm going to go into its properties and either right click and go to properties or simply double click the line. Now as you can see, I can adjust the the alert file that uh, gets gets outputted. I can set up an e set, have it send an email and whenever it does get triggered, if you want it to rearm itself, meaning, you know, you want it to alert a second time if it if it price ends up hitting it again. Typically you want it to alert more than once uh, if, if price keeps you know bouncing off that line. You don't want it to be disabled forever. Uh, but once it does get if it does get touched, this label here that's currently green will turn whatever color you'd find here as, as uh, dark gray. Uh, you can adjust the position of the label itself. You can see the, from top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. The size of the label, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the offset, how far off the, the edge of the chart you'd like it to be. Uh, this is as far as it goes right there. Now this is also extremely useful. So if you're, if you're like me and you output a lot of horizontal lines uh, on your chart based off of higher time frames, like daily, like a large double top somewhere, uh, you can, you can add a, a label to this. So you can say, um, you know, daily, uh, double top. So something if, if you have this particular, um, and I hit apply, you can see it, you can see, uh, the label appears there. Now, if you have this particular line set to attach to all charts, if you go to a daily chart and you draw this line, uh, and then you drill down to a, a lower time frame, then you will see, you know, these, these, li these lines that you've maybe positioned from other, other, um, other time frames. Now you can also set that, set it to locked which is something else I recommend doing if it's so you don't accidentally move it, uh, especially if it's something based off of, um, you know, some other time frame. you want it to be where you originally set it. And you, so you can kind of temporarily set that to locked. Um, it's just kind of a side tip. Uh, next is the actual color of the line. Now, if I could go up here and I can set the, um, let's see, where is it here? The line color to what I, whatever I'd like. However, if I want it to actually change based off of price's position relative to the line, um, that's, it's, it's, I can enable this option here and set these two colors here. So what that means is if, pri if price is currently above our, my line, it's considered you know, potential support. And so that's why it's green. If, if this is above my price, it's going to automatically color to red. Uh, so if I place uh, you know a bunch of these on my chart, they will you know color themselves appropriately. Uh, so it'll, it'll just kind of appear like that. So you can see how if you had a bunch of lines and you could add labels to each of them, uh, how it could be pretty pretty useful to, to have them uh, on your chart, especially when you look at intraday charts and, and there's something from from far away that you uh, just to be aware of. Now another uh, useful tool. Um, a reason why you could use this tool is, for example, say you have, you know, a, a pattern that's, um, that's here and you want to, uh, you know, draw one of these, these lines here just to kind of give you a heads up, a little warning or an alert saying, you know, hey, if, if price gets down here, uh, you know, let me know. And so I can, I can pay more attention to that particular chart. Um, and, and, and so I will, uh, um, you know, just kind of bring my attention to it. Or vice versa to say, you know, hey, if, if price goes up, up here uh, and it breaks this point C, uh, you know, let me know, you know, just send me an alert. So, so just, there's just various uses on why you'd want to set a price alert line. Uh, I, I, I use them all the time uh, everywhere on my charts. Um, 
you have any questions, please email me at daniel at updown.com. That's daniel at uppdnn.com. Uh, best success in your trading.